Hi, I'm Tony. Here are my seven rules to choosing a comfortable bike helmet. An uncomfortable bike helmet makes riding a complete nightmare. In 20 years of riding and product testing, I must have worn well over 100 different helmets from every major manufacturer and also from plenty of smaller brands as well. Over those years, I've picked up a few ways of being able to tell in advance which helmets will work for my head and which ones won't. Some of these are general basic fundamental rules and some are personal things that have helped me. Here they are. Ask someone to measure around your head one centimeter above your eyebrows with a cloth tape measure like this one. The measurement in centimeters is your starting point when buying a helmet and always check to see where those centimeters sit in each manufacturer's scales. Rule two, this measurement is not the be all and end all. The tail of the tape is only the start. My head is 59 centimetres around, but I comfortably wear a size medium in all four of these brands, Arai, Shoei, HJC and Shark, and that's to name just a few. All of these brands say that a 59 centimetre head needs to go in a size large. So that shows you that those scales aren't always perfect. Put the lid on and it might be a bit of a squeeze to get it on your head. I've seen people give up trying to put a helmet on, assuming it's too small because it doesn't slide gracefully over their head. It should be snug enough to feel like a helmet is a bit of an effort to get it on. A loose helmet is bad news for these reasons. It'll wobble around on your head. It'll sit too low, which will restrict your vision and make it harder to look over your shoulder while you're riding. It'll be noisy because extra space around your neck means more air will get in and create a racket. And probably more importantly than all of that, it will be less effective if you ever need it to serve its primary purpose and protect your head. The better a helmet fits you, the more likely it is to stay on your head and do its job. Too small is also bad news, mainly for one reason. You'll struggle to think about anything else while you're riding and as if there isn't already enough to think about while you're riding a motorbike. You want firm, even pressure all the way around your head from the foam comfort padding. It should feel like that foam is compressing tightly to keep your cheeks and your skull nicely supported. You want minimal pressure on your head from the EPS, that's the polystyrene impact liner that's within the helmet. It's harder than the comfort foam and it's got much less give. It will bed in and it will adapt to the shape of your head eventually. That's if you can tolerate the pressure for long enough for your helmet to break to your head shape. And believe me, that can be a true torture test. So how tight is too tight? With the helmet on and the strap fastened, grab hold of the chin bar and try to rotate your head around from side to side, as well as from top to bottom. If your head moves and the lid stays where it is, then the helmet is too big. With the helmet on and fastened, check that the brim of the eye port around here isn't too close to your eye line. If the top section here is too close, the helmet's too big. If the chin bar here is too close to your eyes, then the helmet's too small. What you're looking for is your eyes to be nice and centrally located within this eye port, not too high and not too low. It takes a little time. Whether you're trying a helmet on in a shop or at home, wear it for as long as you can to get an idea of how it's gonna feel when you get out on a bike. I've had helmets where I've tried them for a short time, thought they'd be okay, and then I set off on a long journey in them. That was a big mistake. If you can keep a helmet on your head for about half an hour and feel for any undue pressure points, that will give you a good indication of whether it'll be comfortable when you get out on the road. Admit it, you might need a different lid. If a helmet doesn't fit, you can start by trying a different size. It might work, but it might not. You may just need to face up to having to buy something different. No matter how much you like that paint scheme or the cracking discount on a particular helmet, if its internal shape doesn't suit your head's external shape, then you need to look at something else. Sorry about that. Believe me, your love of a paint scheme or of a bargain will quickly fade when you're having to crush your head into a helmet that just doesn't suit it. I've had helmets that have maybe want to stop riding, throw the helmet in a nearby bush 
and carry on without it. There was absolutely nothing wrong with most of those helmets. It was just that my head was the wrong shape for them. There are plenty of other lids to try, and when you find the right one for your head, you'll have a much happier time on your bike. So those are the tips that have worked for me over the years, and I hope they help you find the right lid for you. If there are tips that you've worked out for yourself over the years, then please make a comment below with your advice and let's start a conversation to help every rider find the right helmet for them. Thanks for watching.